Hey, what's going on, guys? So I got a hunting trip planned next month. Uh, I'm going out to Texas to do some hog hunting. And uh, it got to, I got to thinking about it. I've never actually done a build video um, going over, like, what my uh, hog slash coyote, um, technically deer hunting here in Ohio build actually is. So that's why I kind of decided to do on this video is go over uh, this little gem here. So uh, here we go. All right, so the 350 build. Um, I'm gonna try getting this video to be under 10 minutes, all right? I'm not guaranteeing this, but we're gonna try. So um, I'm gonna start from ground level and build my way out of what this build actually is. So to start with, um, it's Aero Precision. The uh, mod is the M4E1 on the upper and the lower there. Uh, as you can see, it does have Aero Precision bolt. There's an Aero Precision uh, gas block and tube and the handguard. I have to tell you, I absolutely love this handguard. It is my favorite, um, handguard that I've found for AR platform yet. And this is the Atlas S1 also from Aero Precision. Um, I freaking love it. It fits me on my hand, just the grip on it. I get, it's just perfect. Like I like, I don't want big and bulky. I don't want a whole bunch of freaking pick rail. I just want to be able to get my hand around it and hold on tight. This does it for me. So, um, moving on to the barrel. This is a Ballistic Advantage 350 Legend. Now, you're probably wondering why I run 350 Legend on a hunting gun. And if you don't live in Ohio, I think maybe Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, I don't know. There's like six or seven states that all do straight wall pistol cartridge is what we can deer hunt with here. So, um, if you guys are so lucky to be able to hunt with regular rifle uh, ammunition, that's cool. We can't. So the workaround is they let us use pistol cartridge. 350 Legend can be ran out of a five, five or a regular AR. Um, you just have to obviously change the barrel out. So yeah, that's that's why this build exists. Um, out on the end here, you'll notice it is suppressed. This is a Dead Air Wolfman. Um, it also does have their QD mount and the muzzle brake. Now, one thing, I have, a couple things I want to note on this. Uh, first off, it is, um, you can change it down to what they call the K um, format. It's just shortened, essentially. So you just move the end cap out, take this piece off, put the end cap back in here, and it drops it down like two inches in length. Um, but a key thing to know is it does not come with this brake. This brake or this, this uh, adapter is like 250 bucks extra. This muzzle brake is the key micro. If you have the regular chemo, do not put it in this can. It will not fit. I believe it will bottom out in there somewhere, but they say don't run it. So key micro, that's what this is. Uh, they make a brake and a flash hider now. I haven't got a flash hider yet, but um, this is a 30 cal can. So I run it on the 300 blackout, 350 legend, nine mil. I run it on all of them and you, same thing. Just run that adapter. So that just goes on there, locks in place, you're good to go. Um, I do have a little uh, Strike Industries hand stop here just because I like indexing on, on a finger. It just kind of sets me up nice. Uh, moving towards the rear, um, I got a nice mag pull, and I believe this is the SLK version. Um, it's pretty lightweight, very easily uh, adjusted. It's got a big... A lot of them have real small buttons. I wanted one with a big button. Um, so that's that's nice to adjust and um, move, move it around. Um, up top, this is kind of important. Um, this is my thermal. This is a Sightmark Ray thermal, and it is attached to the battery pack here. Now, uh, if you'll notice, there's two wires hanging here. There's a reason there's two wires. Um, I'm in the process of adjusting, and I'm still trying to get a feel for something, and I'm waiting for another part to show up. Um, is another battery. It actually, if you notice, this one sits kind of high. It's a little, a little thick. It works. They make a low-profile one that I want to mount up here on top, and it should clear uh, out of the view of my my thermal itself. So, uh, go on. I've got a video uh, about the thermal and several other Sightmark products. You can go on and check their stuff out. I will say that the battery does come with a nice this this cable here. It is magnetic. The tip just pops off. So in case you accidentally get it caught on a branch or something while you're walking through the weeds, it isn't going to break anything off. 
I found this one on Amazon. It's a little bit longer. The whole purpose is because I was wanting to move it out, the battery out here further. Still working out the um, logistics on where I'm going to run this wire and everything. But similar concept, it just snaps on there and boom, you're, you're mounted and good to go. Uh, and I do have one other part that I, or two other parts that I changed. So originally I had this built with a mil spec trigger. I recently changed it out to a rise armament, uh, and it's the curve, but it is a slight curve. Like I normally like a flat trigger, especially on pistols. Um, I don't really like curved triggers. I feel like I'm not getting a good, uh, a good index on my finger of where the pressure is for some reason. I like the flat. It just, I don't know. It's a personal preference thing, but I do really, really like this trigger. Uh, it's clear there. Uh, nice, clean break. Reset is not terribly far out and you're right back on the wall. For me, that's one of the things is I look for in a, a trigger is the reset. How far from the reset location to actually being able to hit that wall that I know the next thing I'm, the next move I make, it's firing this thing. With a hunting gun, it's not as big of a deal. With a combat style firearm, if you were in a combat situation or if you're in a um, competition situation, knowing your gun, knowing where that wall is, knowing how hard you have to pull the trigger is, is paramount. Um, very clean break though. I do, again, it is, I'll do it with this hand so you can see. Like it's, it's microscopic reset and like it's, and I'm, I'm on the wall right there. Like where it stopped, it's on the wall. So, um, I've had triggers before when you come out, hit your metallic click, there's like a little play, a little mush there. I don't like that. I want to be, as soon as I come back out, I'm ready to fire again. Uh, a lot of the, the military guys will be able to attest to this. When you're on the range, you're in a combat situation, that follow-up shot, you need to be ready for the follow-up shot. You might have two or three targets that you're engaging at one time. So when I come off, hit the fire, boom, come off, feel that click. I hold, scanning, find that next target, boom, I'm right back on. So being able to hit that metallic click the way I want it is, is essential. Uh, and I believe the last thing is just this grip here. Uh, this is, I believe it's called the K2. It's from Magpul. Um, the whole reason I originally, I just had a standard, this is not the one, but I had a standard Magpul grip on it. And if you'll notice the, uh, the grip angle here, if you look on the front right here, you can see the grip angle or it's right there. It's just a little bit more vertical. So this one has more of a back angle. This one has more of a downward angle. It's not as canted back. The dilemma I was running into is I like to have this a little on the short side, especially when you're in a blind. And when you're up tight, that angle pushing back on my arm was actually kind of binding up my wrist and my finger. And I, didn't, I just didn't like it. So I went to the gun shop, went over to Lake Erie Arms. I was like, yo, Mark, I need something with a more vertical uh, position. He's like, try this. And I was like, Oh, dude, that's perfect. Like, that puts it almost exactly where I want it. I wouldn't mind a little more vertical, but this works. This gets me where I want to be. So, you know, purpose-driven build. This is my deer hunting gun, and it also doubles as hog and coyote, um, according to uh, where I'm at, what I'm hunting, what the situation arises. So, I absolutely do love this gun. I love this handguard. Uh, this is probably... I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is my favorite AR build that I've done. Like I've, I've built, I don't know, eight or 10 ARs, whether it be uh, 15 or 10s, I build them both. And this one just, it, it's like part of me. I don't know. When you find that gun that fits you, it's just, there's something about it. And, uh, you know, if you talk to a, if you talk to a gunsmith, they're going to tell you, Hey, you don't, you don't fit the gun to the part. You fit the part to the gun. I feel the same way about guns to you. You don't fit the you don't fit you to the gun. You fit the gun to you. So if you're running into a grip that you don't like, it feels weird. Um, change it out. If you're concealed carrying and you're not feeling comfortable with the gun, get something different. Find something that you're comfortable with. 
You know, if your handguard is biting on you somewhere, find something different, change it out. You know, that's, you gotta, you gotta feel comfortable and be able to perform. So yeah, this is, uh, this is why I like this build. So hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully if you're, uh, looking to do a build, you got some inspiration. Um, give you a quick view, both sides. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, the sling here is from Warhorse Design. It is a, uh, I don't know what the heck they call it, but it's got like a quick, like you can pull it up and down, tighten it, loosen it really very easily and very quick. Nice design, comes in a bunch of different colors, patterns. Um, I don't know if you can see the one up there with the uh, pink and blue and white, also from Warhorse Design. Um, they make some nice stuff. They actually make, uh, pistol brace straps that match. So it's kind of nice that one, if you can see it, it's over here as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully it helps you out on some stuff. Um, hit the like button, hit the subs uh, subscribe, follow along, you know, go watch some other videos that I've posted. And if you got questions, post them in the comments. I'll get back to you. You can ask anybody that's on here. I'm usually pretty good about getting back on comments. So yeah, stick around because hopefully next month we got some hog footage for you. So yeah, as always though, stay tuned, stay tactical. I'll see you guys next time.